Underage drinking is nothing new, and it may not surprise you to hear it's a big problem in the UK. But new research into the cause of teenagers hitting the bottle has revealed that for many, it's as simple as this. Boredom. Not a massive shock, admittedly, but especially relevant now, as the long summer holidays stretch out in front of Britain's teenagers. Here's how the research breaks down. The charity Drink Aware reckons around a tenth of 16 and 17-year-olds drink alcohol at least once a week because there's just nothing else to do. And given that over half are bored during the school holidays, that number is likely to peak during August. These teenagers who are hanging out in New Quay this summer say this really isn't any anything new. Oh, it's fun. It's just yeah. holiday. No, it's just a social it? thing. It's a social it's thing. thing. It's it's thing. Like, to enhance meeting children, because that's what you come here to do, and you meet other kids. Yeah, and it's not like, it's not a, gen it's like a generation thing. You know, you did it when you were our age. Everyone does. It's just not really a big deal. Just got more strict on it. Yeah. 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 It's like an underage, um, club thing on tonight, oh, yeah. like, so and it's 16 to 20, yeah, yeah, but it's no... 15 quid, <laughs> yeah. so you know, they, they try and encourage you not to drink and go out and socialise without drink, but it's 15 quid to do that, we're happy not to drink, and then it's 15 quid to get in, no. so they're not exactly encouraging us, they, because otherwise we would have gone, because I have no problem with not drinking, because I don't come here for that. So money is a factor and if given £20 a week to spend on anything, 13% of those questioned said they would use the cash to buy alcohol rather than clothes, makeup or cinema tickets. So those are the figures, but it's not going to stop teenagers drinking and that can have serious consequences, making them more susceptible to reckless behaviour at risk of contracting STIs and becoming victims or perpetrators of crime. Drinkaware's Siobhan McCann has this advice. Well, I think when you're 16 and 17, you sort of you can talk about liver damage and heart disease but sort of that seems a long way away so it's really important that young people understand the short term and the long term implications I mean our advice to young people who are drinking is to make sure that they do it safely to make sure that they eat a meal beforehand space their drinks um, their alcoholic drinks with water or soft drinks really make sure that you're with friends who you know and trust and look after them and if you're out and about make sure you know how you're going to get home teenagers are advised not to drink any more than adults that's a pint and a half of lager a day for men and a glass of wine for women.